Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a ASOS haul today. Now, I wasn't written all to, um, when it was payday and bought some things on ASOS. Um, obviously I did not need any of this stuff, but I wanted, um, two things and then some other things fell in my basket basically but first off if you're new hi welcome my name is matt welcome to my channel please take a moment to subscribe it's free there's no cost to you for doing so so i'm distracted by a helicopter outside um no cost for you to do so if you like a haul like we're doing today come shop with me around loads of different places like zara h&m primark mr village river island all that kind of stuff as well as too good to go bags for your hauls all that kind of thing definitely click my button down below to subscribe it's free and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload but as I said today's video is an ASOS haul um which I did order on Thursday evening around 12 12 o'clock around um 9 p.m ish I think do I have that on my I don't know my receipt will be on there but I just screenshotted on my iPad like how much I spent and things um I don't think I can see the time it was ordered on but I did spend now they were having I don't know um they had like 15% off with a code but it wasn't displayed on the website but when I did one of those browser extension things I was using Bing I know I've got a new laptop recently and it only doesn't let me download Google Chrome um but it has got Bing Bing no not Bing Microsoft Edge that's what I'm talking about it's got like an inbuilt um, you know, like Honey or Karma kind of those things, not affiliated, not sponsored, but it browsed the internet and found um, a 15% off voucher, which was good because my subtotal was, subtotal was £105. I got 15% off that, so I got £15.82 off. Um, I did do, they don't call it next day delivery anymore, they call it fastest delivery or something, um, because I am impatient um i did spend 5.95 on the delivery which is like if you order something on like house of fraser that is just five pound is like standard delivery for that anyway so my order did come to 95 pound 62 but i did order and buy six items which i'm gonna delve into now in this mahusive bag so let's get on into it i'm just going to open up no scissors required and i'm just going to pull stuff out at random i say at random the first thing i can see is a shoe box. I know. Does it have the side on it? It does, but no picture or anything. I did order some trainers. I know. And you're going to be like, haven't you got some like that already? Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. Let me just tell you the price of these. We'll get the price up. So these are twenty five ninety nine full price. There was no discount on this. There might have been like on the fifteen percent off, but like everything else was in the sale. Actually, I bought. Um, apart from these, these are twenty five ninety nine full price. I did think because I wanted to wait till like payday when I um, ordered this stuff, but then I actually bought it the day before because I got FOMO. Um, I know, so sad. But um, they did go down to like twenty five pounds, like ninety nine p off. So that's no biggie. But I bought these. Now let me get the other one out as well. These are from Pull and Bear. These are from Pull and Bear. These are a bit dirty. Hmm. Have they already got scuffs on? Or like marks? I don't know. They look a bit... Okay, they haven't been worn on the bottom. But on the side, I don't know if you can see. It's a bit dirty. I mean, they were twenty five ninety nine, So I'm not expecting amazing, amazing, amazing quality. But, you know, better than, like, Primark, please. But, I don't know. I might have to just run over with, like, a wet wipe or something. I don't know if you can see. It's got, like, bits on it. Um, I don't know whether that's because there's something else in my bag that made it like that or not. Don't know. But, basically, and these are going to be on my feet anyway, aren't they? So, and on the ground. Um, I don't think they are leather or anything. I don't believe so. Not for 25. But... I bought these because I wanted some more white trainers and I know I bought like some Ralph Lauren white trainers but I want to wear those for like vest and maybe like um, work although I could wear these to work quite happily although I haven't worn I haven't tested the waters on wearing like smart trainers to work yet some of the ladies in my office do 
wear that, but I have not run the risk of that yet. Um, and I do work in HR, so I can do it. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's not, you could, I could wear these technically to work. Um, and I know I also bought recently, which I did a whole unboxing just for it on, um, were some Puma ones, which I haven't actually worn yet. And I haven't worn the um, Ralph Lauren ones yet because the weather has just not been nice. And I've been wearing my Zara ones, which I think I bought last year or the year before. I think I bought them the year before. And I've worn them into, like, they look tired now um and the whole sole of that is like this color which i don't particularly i do like but i've kind of gone off a bit but they are looking a bit worse for wear i wear them every time i wear trainers so i wanted some new ones for the summer and 25 pound you know isn't too bad for them um so i thought i'd pick these up i have in a recent i think it was in the last days or so i did pick up some Pull and Bear boots, which I have worn a few times. Um, they are quite hard to style because they are so chunky. Um, and now we're getting into spring summer. I'm not going to be wearing those till next like autumn. Um, but they are really comfortable, apart from the top bit. But that's because they are quite high boots, high high like Chelsea boots and stuff. But yeah, these are the shoes. I might try them on. I might not. I mean, they are just shoes. I've not got a lot of time to be honest. Um, and they are in a size six. And I wanted them to have a little bit of a chunk, so that is why they don't look, they look chunky, but not too chunky. And they look very, very Air Force, Nike Air Force One vibes, which is a vibe I like, but I don't want to spend a hundred and something pound on them. So if they're good, and I presume they are, because every Zara trainer that I've had is really nice and comfortable. Um, I've had three of those, and Pull and Bear is part of Zara's, like, family. Um, and the boots from Pull and Bear are comfortable as well, so I've got high hopes for those um right so that was quite a long segment on that the next thing i picked up was actually the second thing i saw as well um this is like this apparently and it has got a hanger why oh, there we go okay now i wanted and i've been on like, some, like a little black jacket for a, a not like crazy on the hunt for one but you know i was wanting one and um, because I was like looking in my wardrobe, I haven't got a back jacket and I wanted just something that could be worn under a coat but then isn't just a t-shirt and has a bit more substantial than that but could layer with a t-shirt. I don't know if I'm explaining it well but I bought this one. This was £14.50 in the sale, reduced from £25.99. I've got to my iPad there where my prices are. Um, and this is from Pull and Bear as well um, and it is just a black like worker style jacket i don't know whether the detailing can you see the detailing it's got like pockets at the front here it's got a little logo there as well um there's a pocket up here as well and it is just black so i will be trying that on for you in a moment to see if it fits i did get it in a small so hopefully that fits this is the jacket on it's actually a really good length actually the material is I don't know how to describe it, it's not like a shirt or anything. Well, you could have a shirt in it. It's a bit thicker, it's not quite, it's not a really thick jacket. It is just nice, like, over shirt, I guess, that has got, like, the utilitarian pockets on. It is in a size small, um, it's not too oversized. I didn't actually want it to be too oversized for once, but it is, like, roomy. I can do the buttons up if I need to, I'm not planning on doing them. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know, do we, like the contrast white buttons or not not 100 percent sure um but it was 14 pounds and stuff and the buttons have do they have they have pull and bear written on sorry about the squeaky floor and you can't really see my head either but yeah uh, with like i could wear it with this t-shirt and it's actually a fairly good length with this t-shirt and this t-shirt is quite large even though it's a small but yeah let me know your thoughts that was they were like the two things i was on the look for and i saw them and pull and bear is a brand i love and I thought, let's do that then. Next thing. Huh. Oh yeah. I was like, did I buy that? Looks different though, but it is what I actually ordered. Something like this. Now this was the most expensive thing. This is 35 and it's a t-shirt. And I know if you watched my Bits of haul, I have just bought a t-shirt from this brand already. However, 
I saw, well, I tried this on actually in Blue Water when I went shopping in Blue Water in January and didn't buy it then, kicked myself about, didn't, because I think it was £25 back then, but, and originally it's 50 so it was half price, but I got this for 35 but I know, I actually, I really, really like this, and it looks, is it the right one? I think it's, I think it's the same one, I believe it is, um, it might be slightly different maybe then, I don't know, I'll have to have a look back at a picture that I had, but it's just a stripy t-shirt with Tommy jeans written on it, really like the different colours, like this really, it's coming a bit darker up on the camera, but it's more, I don't know, ready. Really like that with that. I really like the stripes of it. This could be really nice under the jacket and stuff, couldn't it? Really like that, so I'll try that on. I got this in a small. Now, in a t-shirt, I would normally do a medium, but however, this t-shirt, which I also bought in Vista, this is the t-shirt I bought in Vista the other day for 28, um, is a small, and it is quite large. So, I was on the same, like mindset as that that is quite large that is quite large we'll go for a small because i had a medium in my bag at first but i got it in a small this is this top this is like the size i would actually want it to be it's not too oversized um slash not really at all um but it still looks good it's like probably it is the same size as the tommy hilfiger t-shirt that i bought in vista which i have been wearing today um yeah which is a size small i think the one I tried on, which I don't think I showed you at all when I went to um, Blue Water, was in a medium. And I think it was a bit big. But you know what? I like this. It is £35 though. But it's really nice. It will go. It's a really nice just summer t-shirt. I know I've bought so many t-shirts recently as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this. What else have we got? Right. This. I bought a beanie from Fred Perry for... £9.50 into the £40. Now, let me just open it. And when I looked at it at first, I thought, that's it. in black. But it isn't. It's in a very, it's going to come up like practically black on camera. But it is a very dark green. Or do they call it green? Okay, green. But yeah, bought a beanie from Fred Perry. Um, I thought £9.50. I might, might as well. Um, how are they wearing it? Like all the way down here. I don't know if beanies suit me, but they really don't, do they? Um, I don't know. Do people still wear them like that? I don't know. I just thought, oh, it's a Fred Perry beanie. I like it. It's only, I say only, but that is a really affordable price. Like some beanies in like Primark are £6 and you probably can't get one on the high street. Like River Island's probably going to be a tenner at least. So I thought for a Fred Perry one, £9.50. Yes, please. Thank you. So pick that up. That is me trying it on. Next, I bought this, which was six pound fifty instead of um, twenty four. This is by ASOS, ASOS Design, um, and it is a like rugby shirt, polo shirt. It has got long sleeves. I was wondering. Now this says it is ASOS Design. I'm reading it. Sorry. Oh, ASOS Design long sleeve polo shirt in brown and navy colour block so it is basically just a long sleeve polo shirt i got it in a medium it says oversized they didn't have it in a small but i thought six pound fifty is so good it does look very large though um i will try it on i do like oversized things but sometimes i don't want it to be too super oversized but i do really like the colour combination you've got like brown you've got like a beigey like salmony colour white obviously and like a navy I really like that. What does it say? It comes in beige, apparently. Um, but I would say this is maybe it's like a white, off white. I don't know. And it's got a collar there. Collar, a collar there. So I'll try that on. It's not as oversized as I thought it was going to be, but it is still like large. It has actually but very large. Um, maybe it is as oversized as I thought it was going to be. And this brown, I don't know. It's coming up. I don't know, you could tuck it in though, although that would lose like half of it. I don't know, or like half tuck it in, would that be weird? Are we still doing that? I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? It is, I probably am gonna keep it because I do like an over oversized fit and it is quite oversized, but like, actually look, that is quite oversized. I don't know, but I'd probably roll the sleeves up anyway. I do that a lot with stuff. 
Um, I think it kind of works. The sleeves are very drop shoulder though, because um, that is where the sleeve like starts when it should be up there, shouldn't it? But um, I don't know whether it is a design feature of this. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is it too, too big? And I'm not just going to do it. Oh yes, I forgot about these. Now, <laughs> I picked these up. How much were these? These were £14 each of the 28 Now, I have got some blue, like navy. Mm, I wouldn't even say they're navy. They're like blue, blue. Um, striped trousers, like I would say blue with white striped trousers from ASOS that I wear to work a lot. So I thought I'd pick them up <laughs> in the burgundy version. Um, I believe they're similar, although those ones that I've got, I wear a lot, are cropped. These aren't, I don't think. So that might be an issue that we have to contend with because I'm a short person and that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. I was like, does that go there? You have to like do that so is that the front is a bit longer it's a these are different actually now i don't know if these are going to fit these are a 32 waist leg at 30 and they're basically quite long actually um hmm. the tag is on the leg that is interesting it says just so you know we can't accept returns once this tag is removed interesting these are 14 pounds i'm going to try them on hopefully they fit and these are called the ASOS Design Smart Super Skinny Trouser in Burgundy Pin Stripe. So let's try those on. I've just tried up the trousers and they literally, this is a no-go. So yeah, that is my ASOS haul. I am filming the outro after the fact, no, before I'm trying the stuff on. So hopefully all that fits all fine and everything. Let me know if you picked up anything from ASOS down below recently. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please take a moment to subscribe, it's free, no cost to you for doing so, just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload, um, and also follow me on Instagram, which will always link down below, but other than that, I shall see you in the next one, bye.